In today's lesson, you will learn about the phrasal verb stress out. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I'm going to teach you the phrasal verb stress out and tell you why I've been stressed out lately. The word stress can be used as a noun or a verb and can mean a few different things. As a noun, it can be pressure or tension exerted on a material object. Or as a verb, it can be to apply pressure or tension. And this definition is used mostly in the context of physics and engineering. As a noun, it can also mean to put emphasis or importance on something or as a verb, to give emphasis or importance. This definition is relevant to learning English because English is a stress-timed language and putting stress on a different syllable of a word or on a different word of a sentence can completely change the meaning of what you say. This is very important for being understood when speaking English and in another lesson in the future, I will talk about that in more detail. But today I want to talk mostly about the third meaning. This is, as a noun, a condition or situation of worry or anxiety because of difficult things happening to you or as a verb to cause anxiety or worry. The phrasal verb stress out is related to this last meaning. It means to feel extreme anxiety or worry. It is usually used as a separable phrasal verb, as in the sentence, sometimes making these videos stresses me out because it takes a lot of time to make them. Or, he really stressed me out yesterday. Stress out can also be used as an adjective to describe someone who is feeling extreme pressure or difficulty or stress. A sample sentence is, I have been really stressed out lately because I have had problems with my car and some other things. And that is why I haven't been able to answer everyone yet that has sent me emails or replied to me on Messenger, Instagram, and Twitter. But I will just as soon as I can now because now my car is fixed finally and some other problems I had are also a little bit better. I had planned to do a lesson for Valentine's Day and talk about vocabulary related to love and relationships, but I was too stressed out and didn't have the time. And I was going to do a lesson about Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year or Spring Festival, whichever you want to call it, it's called different things. But again, I wasn't able to do any of those because I was only barely able to make this video. But Hope hasn't been stressed out at all because she's a dog and she's very happy because now it's the year of the dog. And I told her that I would try to find a way to get her into more of my videos again. I don't have a quiz this time, but I do have two questions for you to answer in the comments. One, do you think Americans seem more stressed out than the people in your country or in the country you're born in? And the second question, tell me what stresses you out. That's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. And if you would like to get more English help, then please sign up to get emails and other free stuff for me. And if you have the time, then stay at YouTube and watch more of my English lessons. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible. And now she's licking the table. Here you go. Happy Chinese New Year, Hopies! Yay! Good girl! Look at the camera! Come on, Hopies! Yeah. Oh, you're leaving. <laughs>